Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Tuesday, the 11th of February 2019. So uh, yesterday, well, what a surprise, NASDAQ soars to another record high as crude oil crashes and the yield curve inverts. So the yield curve is inverted. That's uh, more of an interest to me than the fact that the market's made another all-time high. That goes without saying. That's the agenda. So uh, we'll just move over to that one. You can have a, a quick look. And uh, you'll see there we have an inversion of the yield curve. And we know what this means going forward. And that is that uh, recession is on the way. And just to uh, add a bit more uh, weight to this uh, theory of mine, this is uh, the Baltic Exchange Dry Index. And basically what this is, so you will have seen this in the market alert at some point in the past, it shows in real time the amount of freight that is being shipped around the globe. And uh, you only just have to look at this chart uh, to see what's happened during the latter part of 19 and the beginning of 2020. It has fallen off a cliff. And if you look at uh, the all of the data for the Baltic Dry, you will see that uh, we have a bit of a problem, Houston. Uh, you can see there where the shipping has uh, more or less uh, ceased. And as we go forward with the coronavirus, I uh, noticed on Zero Hedge yesterday, Japan was shutting one of their uh, Nissan factories uh, temporarily because of the uh, the virus. So, uh, yeah, I expect this to uh, continue lower. That's uh, all I would say. And uh, exacerbate uh, the potential for the recession that we looked at uh, last year. That's why we looked at this. Uh, and uh, calculated forward that uh, May, June of this year that uh, we possibly could be in a recession. Meanwhile, back at uh, the uh, Dow in the twilight zone, uh, we see uh, the market moving high yesterday on fresh air and uh, continuing this uh, madness once again on the overnight market. Uh, are we... Uh, above the 76% retracement. No, we're just at it in the daily chart. So a bit of resistance here for the market to get through. But uh, you won't have to worry about that today because uh, our Lord and Saviours, the uh, central bankers, uh, we've got uh, the criminal out, Powell's out and Barmy Carney all speaking more or less at the same time or within a matter uh, of an hour of each other or half an hour. So we uh, from 2 p.m. I expect uh, a bit more activity to the upside in the Dow because no doubt they're going to say just the thing that's required to move the market to the upside and if not I would be very surprised. So yesterday in the Dow uh, the market uh, choppy in the uh, pre-market session but as you can see here uh, eventually succumbed to the downside but as soon as uh, the market uh, cash market opened it was a one-way bet they discounted the non-farm payrolls from friday and it was just whoosh to the upside a bit of a breather through the afternoon but before the close the plunge protection team came in and added a bit more just to uh, a bit more impetus there to send the market to the highs and then when the market opened the Far Eastern market uh, pushing prices higher as the Dow futures uh, were bought en masse and prices pushed higher once more, already up to the R1 on the overnight. So watch uh, the 76% retracement, 29.374 is uh, what you want to watch as uh, this market uh, continues to unfold. Meanwhile, Bitcoin uh, took a, a bit of a hit uh, over or during uh, Sunday night, early hours of Monday morning, uh, you can see there, again, there is manipulation in this market. The CTFC admitted to this only last year when uh, the market was at 20,000. That was why the futures market was created. And that's why all futures markets are created so that markets can be manipulated, as you've seen on the overnight with the Dow. By buying the futures market, it lifts the market. And also, of course, with the VIX, we saw them... Uh, move uh, the volatility index lower from 2012 and of course uh, that sent the Dow up to the upside as well. So once the futures contract was uh, created and launched in December of 18 I think it was or 19 I think it was 18 
uh, Bitcoin was then slammed to the downside. So now they can stop this from moving higher as well if they so desire. Uh, four hour chart, uh, you can see there the, uh, the market uh, being slammed. And then in the 15 minute, you can see uh, everything all just sort of sideways, still stuck in ranges and then move to the downside. And yesterday, price is moving higher, hits the 200 bar moving average, and then is sent uh, lower, 76% uh, retracement there. Maybe just uh, slightly uh, lower from this low uh, to this high. There you go, you can see 76. And the market uh, then uh, bouncing off this level for a while, but really not going anywhere. Uh, of any sort of distance are very quiet again uh, just like I say you get these periods of uh, volatility and then you get absolutely nothing as you can see here barely moving okay that uh, will do it for this one uh, today you need to keep your eye on the markets from 2 p.m. with our three favorite uh, central bankers uh, speaking there from 2 p.m. okay that will do it for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one